Hey, Nathan. Hey, listen up, Nathan. That was a bitch move. Mike Tyson, former heavyweight world champion. Yeah. Boxer. Yeah. This dude used to put dudes' heads on a swivel. Yeah, man. He was probably the only heavyweight boxer who defeated their opponent before they even stepped into the ring. Yeah, yeah, right, right. Because they already knew they was going to lose. They just wanted to make sure they didn't die. Yeah, Mike didn't actually decapitate them <laughs> in the fucking ring. Yeah, man. Right. That dude, he was the youngest world heavyweight champion. Yeah, man. I remember like, yes, I think he was 19. Yeah. I remember he knocked out Leon Spinks. I think that was his name. Like, was it Leon is Michael Spinks. Leon is it was, his brother. It was one of them. Damn. Leon was his brother. He knocked out Michael Spinks, man. <laughs> it was one of them damn Spinks. Yeah, he knocked Spinks out the ring, man. His eyes rolled up and back his head. All you saw was the white part, man. Yeah, but anyway. Put his head on a swivel. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway. <laughs> he put his head on a swivel. Yeah. But anyway, Mike's had his ups and downs since then, yeah. and now he's getting his life together. He's got him a Broadway show. Yeah, it takes a lot of courage for a man to step on stage all by himself right. in front of thousands of people. And put on the show. Man. That's what Mike's doing. He's getting his life together, right? Yeah, right now, he's being directed by Spike Lee, right? Yeah, whatever. Yeah. So, <laughs> <laughs> so uh, Mike Tyson is in Canada, right? With yeah. his promoter, right? Yeah, and Al Choco. That's a unique name, man. Right, and I guess they're doing a, uh, they're going to be doing that show up in Canada, and they're on the news. Yeah, first time ever, man. Right, they're on the news, and they're they're telling people about the show. Yeah, and while they're discussing that. Yeah. The news anchor. Yeah. Just what he did. Alex, thanks for joining us, both of you. I'll start with yourself. Uh, many are wondering, how did that happen, this meeting with, with the mayor? I have no idea. It's, it's my fault, fault again. No. <laughs> so no, at the end of the day, he is the mayor of the city. Mike Tyson is here to promote the first ever performance in Canada. And... When I had Sugar Ray Leonard come to Montreal to launch the book, we went to the mayor's office. We're here, it's an habit. We go see and the mayor. And this is the first time probably in the history of Toronto where the mayor is bigger than the whole, the whole city. You know, he's the biggest celebrity than anybody in the city. Everybody wants to see the mayor. And um, he's a really uh, dynamic character. Right, so did you, you read up on him? You sort of would follow no, him? No, I didn't or? read up on him. I watched him on television. Right. In the, I mean, States, I, in the yeah. States, and you know, he's a big, I mean, the big hit in the States, a big hit. Now, well, some of your critics would say, you know, there's a race for mayor. We know you're a convicted rapist. This could hurt his campaign. How would you respond to that? Hey, um, I don't know who said that. You don't even want to say that. You know what I mean? And I don't have no comment to that. You know, because it's negative, and you're being negative. And I, I, I met, I met the mayor, right. and nothing they can do about it. We actually had a really good time. We, we, we talked about George Trevallo, who's a legend in your city, great man, with whom Mike spent quite a bit of time yesterday talking about his life, you know, highs and lows. It's so interesting because you come across like a nice guy, but you're really a piece of shit. Hey, with that come comment. on, come on. No, nah, that was a piece of, fuck you, that was a piece of shit. You know, we're, we're, doing, we're doing live TV. Hey, now. I don't care, what are you going to do about it? All right, you got, a, you got a show that you're doing tonight. We are. You know, a lot That's of people we are, are where it comes there. raw and it's the real truth. Yeah, a lot of people are be there to see your show. Just tell us a bit about it. Um, it's a, you know, it speaks for itself. Everyone saw the show. All right. It's a Broadway production. It went to Vegas. It went to actually 28 cities in the United States. And we're really, really proud to bring it here. And we're actually going to Monaco on October 9th. We're going to be in Monte Carlo. Right. Is it nerve-wracking for you to do something like this, or is it more ner nervous for you to box? How does it compare? I don't know. Um, it's more nerve-wracking for me to hear talking to a rat piece of shit like oh, you. come on, Mike. No, because you're a piece of shit. All right, we're gonna we're gonna we're, 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 we're gonna we're gonna wrap, wrap up this interview. We, thank you for this. thank you for coming in. Fuck you. Come on, man. Did you really get the fuck off me? I didn't touch you. Get man. off me, man. Look here, man. On the real, I'm being real here. Yeah, that's a bitch move. Mike Tyson got convicted at in the nineties. Yeah. We're talking twenty years ago. Why are you being all negative, bringing that shit up when this man's got had his ups? Yes, you, man. So I had sneeze, man. This man had his ups and downs, and now yeah. he's got his he's got his feet on him, and he's doing trying to do positive stuff. He's doing good things, man. Why are you bring up all this negative shit, man? Yeah, ain't nobody bringing up with your punk ass, man. That was a bitch move, there, Nathan. 
That was a bitch move. If you go into the Urban Dictionary and look up bitch move, it's a picture of Nathan right there smiling. Yeah, bitch move there, Nathan. Man, come on, man. Yeah, man, I'm gonna go. You knew what you was, hold on, hold on. Nathan, you knew what you was doing. Yeah, man. You, you knew what you was doing. Don't be, why are you playing stupid? Why are you yeah. playing dumb? You lucky that man didn't put your head on a swivel, man, because that was a bitch ass move, man. I tell you what, Negroes will always try to tear down other Negroes. Yeah. And Nathan, you a perfect example of it. Yeah. You piece of shit. <laughs> Fuck you. Yeah.